One thing to consider when working with the body is everything works naturally when working with nature, meaning you're not forcing the body to do something that it doesn't want to do. Let's just take working out, for example. If you go to the gym and you don't do a proper warm-up and then you try to go do an exercise, let's say a press overhead, well, tendency is you're going to have some tightness in the shoulders and you probably can get away with it to a certain point depending on how much weight you're doing, but then all of a sudden you may feel some aches and pains. Now, that can be minor, minute, meaning you're not going to have a huge experience of discomfort up until the point you actually do, meaning you put so much weight on there to the point where you cause an injury or increase pain and inflammation that's really bothering that shoulder to where it's lingering injured. Now, you can also relate this to diet, meaning certain foods. So if you eat something that's not natural and the body doesn't process it well, then the body's going to overreact, meaning it's going to either cause inflammation, maybe you have some symptoms such as headaches, fatigue, irritability, or you just don't sleep well. So it's really just getting in tune with our body and how it works. A lot of times I always tell people it's like shaking hands and becoming friends first before you punch it in the throat. Now, it seems pretty basic, but at the end of the day, that's how our body works. We're typically overcomplicating things. We're forcing our body to do something that it doesn't or is not intended to do. So a lot of it is just understanding the basics of the body. So this could be some educational points where you go in there, learn more about your body, maybe again, the activity or the area that you're trying to get better at. But if you're always at that point where you're hitting a wall, where things are either constantly going wrong, whether it's the symptoms you're experiencing, such as the pain, the inflammation, the injury, inability to sleep, or just in general, you're not getting the result that you're wanting, then a lot of times it's again, we're just not working with the body in a natural way. We're forcing it to do something that it shouldn't do, whether it's a movement, whether it's an exercise, it can be performance related. Again, your diet, the foods you're eating are not resonating with the body, but also the recovery side. Recovery is a huge aspect of it, and it's listening to your body. Again, if we're forcing ourselves to go through a certain activity or a physical intense exercise that our body's just not ready for yet because it hasn't recovered, well, again, we're not working with it. We're going against the grain. We're trying to get it to do something it's not ready for. So again, our body's great at communicating. There's a lot of points that our body's given a signal saying, hey, I'm not quite there yet. Now, there is that point of adaptation, meaning you do have to push past a certain point. This is becoming a little bit more educated on and or maybe have a coach or trainer or someone who can help guide you through it because, again, there are those points of times that you want to adapt to higher level of stress, meaning stress in a good way of your body's ability to overcome any kind of environmental stress, physical stress, mental stress to take yourself to higher level of activity and performance. So again, it's just knowing our bodies and what we're capable of, but also strategically getting to that next level. And that's what you're looking for. You're looking for how to get the most out of your body, whether it's your energy, whether it's your performance, your ability to move, your ability to recover, and just in general, enjoy life, the quality of life. And so again, I always say is like, if you can come and go back to and preface whatever you're doing, start it off with success, meaning start off asking your body, hey, how do you want to connect here? How do you want to resonate with this? Meaning, go in there, be friends, ease into it, make sure it's working before you just force it to do something. So it's a simple approach, but it's also a very powerful approach because, again, you're letting nature naturally tell you which direction to go.